Hey guys, welcome. We got another video for you. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, uh, I'm in the BMD G737, active on the runway, fully running with the engines to save time. We don't want to do a startup, it just take too long. But I want to show you how to use, uh, to do a basic flight using the FMS. We're going to do a flight from London Gatwick to Dublin. All right, so uh, watch me and I'm going to show you what to do. All right, so you click on the FMC like I'm doing right now. We're going to go to route. Okay, we're going to put in EGKK, which is the airport you're departing from. In our case, that's uh, London Gatwick. Two, six, left. Let's put that in the wrong way. Okay, we're then going to do E I D W, which is Dublin Island. We're going to put that in the destination. Okay, guys, so that's that done there. Then what you're going to do is go to departures and arrivals. So under departure, we are going to pick two, six, left which is our departure and our departure waypoint let me go here quickly is november 1m okay n o v m 1m 26 left which is correct we click on route okay and activate then what we've got to do you don't have to execute it yet we're going to go to the departures and arrivals again set up the arrivals which is going to be on ILS 28 left okay we're going to do an OBINU transition so we're going to click on that we then click on route okay we'll execute it now so let's execute it okay so that's done now what we're going to do now is go to the legs just to check the legs so we click on legs we go down we're looking at everything making sure it all looks good go to the next page right here we have an error so what you do when you see this you click on the one above in our case in this case it's obinu so you click on that click it there and it's cleared it out and we can uh, execute that so we carry on again let's have a look okay that all looks pretty good let's go back to the previous so let's just double check yep that all looks good all right so that part of it's done i then will set up the ils i know in this case it's one 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 and then we come down to 35 okay and we'll lock that in same here both sides 111 let's go back to 35 okay and again let's uh, lock that in okay all right so that's all done so we're going to set five degree flaps which is already set so that's cool okay we're going to make sure the brakes are rto okay we'll go up to our engines we'll put those on continuous the ils on the feather in dublin is 278 so we're going to set this to 278 and that's on both sides okay guys so we're going to set that to 278 on the course and the same here, 278 this side. Two seven eight. Come on. Lots of fun. Just love this. It's so much fun. Especially when it all comes together. Alright guys, 10,000 altitude, which is what's told uh, by the tower. That's the height we've been set to for clearance. Heading 257 okay we're now going to go back to the fms all right and we're going to go to the init rep so we click on there we know the gross weight is one five 
5,000. So we're going to put that in there. Okay, the reserves are two. Our reserves cost index 35, which is an average. Cost index 35. We are going to put the altitude. We're going to be 28, 280. Okay, so 280, flight level 280. Winds are 330, stroke 15. So we're going to put that in. Okay, so that all looks good. So now we go to N1 limits. But before we do that, we might as well uh, execute it. Go to our N1 limits. 35 degrees up here, which is a, a good average. We're going to select uh, climb rather than climb one and climb two. We're going to select climb. 24 thrust. Okay. Go to takeoff. Five degrees of lapse, which we're putting. The C G is done automatically. You click here where you've got the C G with the percentage. Click on that. Here it is down the bottom. 22.6. Click on that again. And there you go. You've got that. Here's all your V speeds, obviously using V2 for takeoff. So we click all of those in. 156 is what we want to set up here. So let's change that to 156. Oh, a bit too far. It goes pretty fast. 156. Okay, so that's all set. Okay, that's all done. That's all done check down here that's all done we're actually on the runway obviously because that's the way we've set it up let's put that to there okay okay guys and the transponder you would set to whatever the uh, tower tell you to set that to all right guys so basically you've got all of that there so we know that's all good all right go up on the top panel Okay, we're going to set this to our top of descent, 2800. This is what actually sets all the um, oxygen and stuff. And I know this is 150 above the ground. Let's set that. That's continuous, continuous. Okay, let's put the landing lights all on. Okay, right, so let's put the flight directors on. Both flight directors. Okay, we'll set the computer on. Let's check the LNAV. We've got an LNAV, and let's check the VNAV. And we've got a VNAV. So, auto throttle set. Basically, guys, we are ready to go. So let's uh, line it up here. Okay. Zoom back a little bit. I normally uh, fly VR. You can see my VR helmet down here on the uh, P3 Motion Sim. But right now, just to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to do it from, uh, from the screen. All right, let's go. So we're all good there. So we've got to put the power in. The power in. I'm going to see it with the pedals. Like I said, guys, not the ideal way to do it, but it works for this demo. And this is just a a simple way of showing you that it all works a bit difficult doing the pedals with your with your hands i've got to say okay let's pull the flight there we go we're climbing up so now we can uh, put the gear up gear up okay guys and we will set the l nav And the VNAV. We are now climbing, guys. Autopilot set. Flaps we can take up in stages. 
so we can take those up bit by bit we're watching over here for the flaps Final the flaps up and brakes set to three in this case that's it guys autopilot course is set you can see it there climbing all on track everything's onky dory now if i want to i want to change my level I can actually go to here. Let me show you if I can zoom in a bit more. I'm ignoring the radio. <laughs> so we go up here. Level change. If you click on that, okay, basically it will automatically take you up to 10,000 feet, which is right there. Pretty straightforward. That will get you up in the air, it's not like an airline pilot would do it, but it's a simple way of doing it guys. Alright, so enjoy it, do it yourself and have a lot of fun. Catch you later, bye.